it's not a matter of if you're going to have electrical problems, it's a matter of when. In our case, and I distinctly remember, it was circuit number 10 was extremely overloaded and we even took out some outlets just to address that issue. But how do you know there's a problem? Map it. Create an electrical diagram of your house. Every last outlet, light switch, exhaust fan, everything should get labeled. This way, when you are in a pinch, you can immediately switch off whatever circuit is having the issue without interrupting the rest of the house. Now, as I get into one way to do this, stay tuned because the last suggestion just might be the most important one. So we're at the electrical panel. Some of these are pretty obvious. The air conditioner, the range, these all have double pole breakers. You can compare the double pole breakers to the single pole breakers on the opposite side. The double pole breakers utilize two slots on the bus bar for more power usage. You should still verify the labels are correct by shutting off each one individually and then going inside to verify the appliance in question is, in fact, turned off and therefore correctly labeled. But some of these other ones are not so obvious. General lights and plugs, like what is that? Also note at this point, you have no idea how many outlets are on each circuit. Even worse, you can't assume that these labels match what's actually going on inside the house. These are all reasons why we're mapping this out for ourselves right now. And also taking a picture of where we're starting label wise, if you intend to update anything on here. When I did this years ago, I went through the entire electrical panel, shutting off each breaker and just going through each circuit individually. You can use one of these outlet testers to verify if an outlet is live. It's a handy tool to let you know if anything is wrong with the wiring of the outlet. But for the purposes of this video, anything that lights up will do to verify if an outlet is live. Of course, when you go through and turn lights and fans on, you'll have instant feedback. Once you map an outlet to a circuit, you have a few options. First, write it down. Draw a map and label each endpoint. Second, you can take off each outlet cover and write down the circuit on the inside. I'm hesitant. I'm putting permanent marker directly on a faceplate in case it bleeds through. And truly, you just never know when you're going to change it out and someone else might want them. A permanent number can be confusing. So I'm going to put a sticker my favorite non-stick kind, painter's tape, so we can be non-committal and most flexible with the marks. Third, you can do both and have the best of both worlds. Here's the key though, don't just write it down. Take a picture of the diagram and send it to yourself in an email. Use lots of keywords like electrical diagram, electrical map, your address, find me, and anything else so it is possible to do a search in your email when it comes time to reference it later. This is very important because it's easy to misplace a piece of paper, especially when there's an emergency. It's also very important to pack in those keywords because it's also very possible to forget what to search for. I know that from experience. When an issue arises, you can either take off the faceplate search for your physical diagram yeah, or search for the email. If you're looking at this video because an outlet has gone bad, definitely check out this video next because it will help you determine which circuit that outlet is on even faster. Thanks for watching.